Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the beauty of mathematics, part three. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also make sure you check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below if you wanna have a community to discuss uh, this type of analysis with, which I do think it's important for staying sane during, during current conditions. Um, and then also check out the premium list at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. So for, for those of you who are unaware, we do a video on Bitcoin and the beauty of mathematics every single month. On the first of the month, we have our, you know, our fair value logarithmic regression curve going through the, the cryptocurrency market capitalization. We have our lower bound line, our upper bound. These are fit to all the price data. So I, I update it every, every month. You can see that at current, at the present time, the fair value uh, based on historical data and this fair value regression fit is 411 billion, but the current the crypto market cap is currently at 377 billion. Now, I took this data yesterday on August 31st. Of course, now Bitcoin and Ethereum have, have pumped a bit. So it, it's obviously above 377 billion at the time that I'm recording this video. Uh, but regardless, you know, if, if we just take what, what it was on August 31st, because we do the video on the first of the month, we can see that the total market cap was undervalued by 8%. Now, if you go back a few months and look at where we were a few months ago, you know, we reached as far down as negative 40%. And if you, if, you, if you divide the price, the closing price of each day, divided by the fair value on that day, you know, this is, this is what you get. Uh, so you see the general trend line, right? We we tend to to see our bottom at around, you know, negative 40 to negative 60 percent against the fair valuation trend line. If it's below 100 percent, it's undervalued. If it's above 100 percent, it's overvalued. So these are the three major bubbles that have formed. You notice, right, that we have a general macro level downtrend and and how high the bubbles go. And you can see, you know, in terms of DCAing your final cells. You would, be, you would want to be looking to do that most likely in this regime. This is not financial advice. This is just what I do. You can do whatever, you know, whatever you want. Um, but you recognize too, right, that, that each, of these, each of these phases is, is getting longer and longer. So we recognize the fact that, you know, these concave up moves are taking longer and longer. We expect to not reach back in this regime for another I mean, maybe three years plus or minus a year. Certainly not by 2021. I, I, I sincerely doubt we would reach it by, by 2021. So remember, lengthening cycles are likely the name of the game. We're going to have bubbles in the meantime. The, why? Well, that's what crypto does, right? Crypto has bubbles. Human nature doesn't change. The, the only reason this comes down is, become, is because people become wiser to what's going on. The market becomes more efficient. The autocorrelation of the Bitcoin prices becomes, it, it's basically less correlated to a lagging version of itself. So people tend to front run it a little bit more each time, right? So you can see uh, each time we're, we're front running that, that sell zone, that expected ROI slightly more and more because people don't want to get left sitting with a, a huge bag of, of crypto that actually can't change their life. You want to sell it when it can change your life, right? And then, and then like run, you know, just get away from crypto for a while, wait for things to cool off. So technically speaking, as of August 31st, we are still undervalued. Um, obviously, we're going to be flirting with fair valuation soon if we're not already there, depending on what the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum are at the time of this video, um, or at least by the time it's released. So let's continue on. If we if we if we speculate right on, on what may happen, you know maybe maybe we continue to you know to move up. Maybe it comes back down, and then we ultimately bubble here in a few years. Now some people think, oh well, if it like you know going down is not necessarily a good thing, but remember. If you look at it, you know, the fair value is always going up. So even if the crypto market cap stayed the same, then it would become more and more undervalued with time because this, the fair value is monotonically increasing. Now, if we spend too much time down here, obviously this would slightly shift, but you know, any given day now is having a negligible impact on it because we're looking at over 10 years of price history. So any given day has a negligible impact on this fair value fit. Um, so what I, as we, as we said before, uh, we're probably going to, to trend, you know, uh, as you see in the last cycle, we trended below the fair value for a couple years. Currently, we're still below it. 
right? Uh, just ever so slightly as of yesterday because we were undervalued by 8%. Um, now, if you see this come above it again, it could be exactly what we saw in 2019, one of those short-term speculative bubbles. Now, the nice thing, right, is that even though, um, the, you know, we were more overvalued here. So if we go back to, to this range here, the, the market cap was overvalued by about 200% back in 2019. And we're already getting back to that level, but we're still now we're at the fair valuation. And the reason, as I mentioned, right, is because the fair value monotonically increases. So this price is comparing it to the fair value at this point, but this price is comparing it to a higher fair value. So it's still undervalued, despite the fact that the same market capitalization would have been overvalued in 2019. So time is generally on our side, right? Time is on our side where we're increasing more or less uh, monotonically, or at least the fair value is the price is a random walk in the short term. Uh, so, so what do we expect, right? You know, we look at we look at these long-term macro trends. Say that okay, this is our our general sell, our final sell region. This is our general accumulation region. As I said before, 2019, 2020, first half of 2021, likely the accumulation year of the market cycle. You just want to figure out like which coins are the best to accumulate at various times during the cycle, right? You don't want to go into a coin that's already gone into a bubble, and you, and you want to stay disciplined about your investments, right? Don't go chasing, you know, I've seen I've seen some other creators talk about chasing these, um, you know, these projects, even if they're even if they're really completely worthless. Yeah, this is this is not don't do I don't think you should do this. Like focus, focus on the plan here. Um, you know, you get if you get too much into that stuff, you're going to end up losing a lot of your money. Uh, so this is my advice to you. So you know, what we're looking at, right, you can see that this peak here is this first peak, the second peak corresponds to this one third peak corresponds to this one. So then over the next few years, I anticipate us going up to somewhere in this valuation region, which is why when people ask me, hey, Ben, where do you think the market cap of, of crypto is going to be in, in you know, at the peak of the next cycle? I first say, well, I think we need to first recognize that we're seeing lengthening cycles, because if we're not, then the peak would likely be closer to maybe like five trillion, four to five trillion in 2021. If, if what I think is true, is lengthening cycle theory is true, I think we're looking closer to say, um, or sorry, 2021 is over here. So yeah, like around five, six trillion. If we're looking to say, um, maybe take 2023 or so, we're probably talking about 10 trillion plus or minus a few trillion. You know, and, 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 and as we've said before, like what's a few trillion among friends? It's really hard to predict exactly where it's gonna go. Maybe it goes to eight trillion, maybe it goes to 12 trillion. I don't really know. Um, but the point is, is, is I think that, you know, if it does go up there, there's gonna be a lot of money to be made and there's gonna be a lot of money to be lost on the way down for the dumb money pouring in at that level. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Remember, we do have the premium list. If you want help navigating the markets, you can check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So please check it out. Uh, you get access to a whole lot of stuff. We have a ton of people on the list and they seem to really like it. So I would encourage you to at least check it out. Join the community. You get access to the private chat room uh the alerts channel right which is where i tell you you know like, like my candid thoughts on the markets a lot of times some of the stop losses and stuff at the, at the various risk levels that you can set to help ensure the profits and to um, to offset say the risk from one coin to another coin that's lower risk this is the idea uh, you get access to a weekly report a weekly premium video a risk dashboard and a strategy dashboard on selling out of the market dynamically so if you guys like the idea you can check it out. You can you can pay monthly if you want, uh, or you can pay for up to you know six to twelve months of crypto, and you can get a discount of fifteen percent if you pay for twelve months. Reminder: I know I've said this a lot, but I, I guarantee you, some people are going to ask me in October, and the answer is going to be no. the The prices are going up September twenty eighth. Okay, so if you want to get grandfathered in, make sure you sign up before then because you'll be grandfathered in at the lower price. You can always sign up, right? And if it's not your thing, just cancel, and then you know what it was. But the prices are going to be going up significantly on the 28th of September. So again, if you want access to the content for, you know, at least for the market cycle, then make sure you set up before that. And then once the market cycle is over, one of the common questions I get is, well, what, what's coming after that? Well, once, once the market cycle ends, you know, it, it's about preserving the wealth, right? Moving it from crypto into more stable assets in the short term so that you can get accustomed to the new normal. And then we look at other markets, right? We look at maybe dividend stocks more. I mean, we talk about, you know, we talk about various markets on the channel, but the reason we focus on crypto is because crypto is hot, right? And, and I think the expected ROI, 
the sharp ratio in crypto is, is rather attractive right now compared to other markets. So this is why we focus on crypto right now. With time, we'll probably shift to other markets, right? We want to continue growing the wealth. A lot of you guys experienced the 2018 bear market. I guarantee you, you don't want to experience like the 2024 to 2025 bear market. You don't want to experience this if this is when it happens. You want to be out of that market. You want your profits taken from crypto into other markets like real estate, stocks, and maybe mutual funds where it's a collection of stocks, uh, you know, whatever it might be, precious metals, commodities. Uh, we're going to we're going to expand the channel as time goes on. But again, it's, it's, it's trying to front run it now. Get that extra ROI, get that extra return, expected return for uh, as little as risk as possible and, and then continue on our merry way, continue making the money um, and then just continuing to, to, to follow what the data says, not react emotionally, recognizing that we take profits at key times during the cycle. Uh, not that it necessarily is the top, but it's a way to, to ensure that you live to fight another day, that you continue to grow your wealth uh, in, a, in a manner that's a little bit more strategic than just saying, okay, you know, I feel like selling today or I don't feel like selling. So let me know what you guys think about the, the, the content in the, in, the, in the comment section below. Remember to check out the premium list into the cryptoverse.com if you want help navigating the cycle. We also do talk about traditional markets some there as well and precious metals. So check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel at the very least. Check out the Telegram channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.